In our pipes and filters demo, we saw how Unix commands, when chained together, facilitate complex data manipulations. Filter commands, in general, give data analysts a quick way to inspect and transform data. Now, we will review a few more of these commands and provide some more examples. At the end of this video, you will be able to sort, clean, cut, and explore text data using Unix commands, plot data on the Unix shell, and use pipes and filters for quick data exploration in Unix. When we work with text files or outputs of Unix commands, we mainly do text data manipulation and searches. Some useful commands that help with these goals are grep, cat, word count, or wc, sort, and unique. And head, tail, cut, said, and find. While we talked about the first five of these commands in our earlier coding sessions, we haven't yet seen the second set of commands listed here. The head command is used for listing the first end lines of a text file or an input stream, whereas the tail command lists the last end lines. The cut command is a very powerful command that gives us a way to cut a portion of each line of a file. SCD, or sed, is a stream editor that is used to perform basic text transformations on an input stream, like a file or input from a pipeline. Find will enable us to do quick searches in our file system or hierarchy. These commands are best learned through examples, so let's look at two questions we can solve in Unix using such commands. Thinking of the text file we had of Shakespeare's works, I can try to find out the top words used in all his works, and maybe even create a plot of the top 15 words. I can also focus on my Unix-based system and look for the top three user IDs that run the most processes in my system. I can also just transform one of the files, like fruits.txt we had, to have all capital letters of the same text. We will focus on these three questions in our upcoming live coding session, but let me describe the pipe and filter statement for the first question. In the first command, we redirect standard input to come from shakespeare.txt. Since this file has many words on one line, we first focus on the set command to convert each space between words into an eve line. After this command, we should have a standard out stream of one word per line and some blank lines that existed prior to running this command. We then sort this output and remove the remaining blank lines. The order of these last commands for sorting and removing the remaining blank lines does not matter since they prepare the output stream for the upcoming unique command. Now we need to find the number of unique words in the file. Minus C option for the unique command gives us the counts together with the individual words the counts belong to. Now we have the count for each word, we need to do a numerical sort with the minus NR option for the sort command. Finally, we use the head command to get the top 15 lines in the output of the sort command and write the output into a file called count versus words. This long but effective one-line command helps us to do a quick data exploration on the shell without having to write a big program. Think of how many lines of Java or C code you would have used to perform the same operation otherwise. Please note that in a Unix-based system other than the Mac OS X, the said regular expression might look like this, which is a lot simpler than, the mine, than mine here. It simply says, replace every backslash s character for space with a backslash n character for an eve line. <clears throat> Next, we see a similar usage of these commands for our second question. We will focus on this one more in our live coding session. Lastly, we will use a new command, the tr command, to convert the contents of fruits.txt into all capital letters. Next, we will visualize our findings to complete our exploratory analysis. A simple tool in Unix for plotting is called gnuplot. 
Although we will use matplotlib and other more advanced packages in Python for visualization in this class, I would like to show you one GNUplot example to demonstrate what you can do through the shell using GNUplot. Now that we reviewed all our comments, let's get started with our live coding session in Unix on the Unix shell. <laughs> 